Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We have a good friend, one from the skate park back in the day, Angelo. He's here to share some of his experiences selling on Amazon. He recently just launched his product. You're what, almost selling out now after two weeks. How does it feel? How's it feel? Um, honestly, better than I expected. Um, I was not fucking prepared to sell out before the end of the month, um, which kind of sucks. But at the same time, it's like, okay, that's really cool that like I can already verify within like less than a month that this product's going to do really, really well. Awesome. Yeah. So in this video, for anyone watching out there, we're going to talk about how long it took him to get his product in. What were the trials, the tribulations, how many hours a day it really took you. Uh, this isn't a get rich quick scheme type of deal. You're building a real business. You got to put effort into it. We're going to talk about maybe some of his product research techniques. What in the beginning got you into Amazon? I had been kind of like playing with your idea of doing Amazon, you know, watching videos on YouTube and TikTok. And I was like, oh, this is cool. Like people are making money on this. And I wanted to know more. And then I like found out that Luke had a course. Like, I, I think it was like December or something like that. Uh, <laughs> so thanks, Luke. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, the course has been fucking great. Uh, even like the first like, like as soon as I logged on, I was like, holy shit, this is like a lot of content. Like mm -hmm. he's got lot of good stuff it's really really informative covers every single base you could possibly think of like luke said it's not a get rich quick thing like it's now july and i started in december so it takes longer than you think but i actually took longer to go through the course realistically you could go through the course a little bit faster you could go through product research a little bit faster um, depending on how driven you were, I guess, and how much time you have. I work full time, but I was still able to do it. So not like I was grinding my ass off like every fucking day. Like most days I was working on it, but not there was like definitely periods of time, like months in between where it's like, okay, I'm just like waiting for my product to get in now. Yeah. Yeah. How many hours would you say on average you put in a day? Like when you were getting started, like an hour or two or three or four, like, how was it? Um, If we're talking about the actual course, probably, I think you had what, like a, a good seven hours worth of content. Yeah. It's like, it's more like, it's like nine hours. <laughs> okay. So yeah, a little bit more. So it took me a while to get through it. You could definitely get through it in a week. Yeah. It took me a few months to get through it because I took a lot of notes. I have a notebook that I took a shit ton of notes. Um, and I like went through it and then I still come back to it because it's lots of good content. Some you're going to need now, some you'll need later. So it's nice to be able to have like the lifetime access to be able to go back to your course. Mm -hmm. A lot of people I think have the misconception that Amazon FBA is some fucking crazy complicated thing. And it's really not. You don't have to be some fucking tech guru that is just like insanely skilled with all this shit to be able to do it. Like, mm -mm. You can learn it within, you know, a few months, like anyone can really fucking do it. Really? Even, yeah. Even my dad did. I got videos of him and he does the full-time job and everything, but he went through my course after I started showing him my success. I'm like, dad, we're, we're doing 30 K a month in sales on Amazon. He's like, wait, let me, let me see that course. And it was a snow day. He was snowed in, couldn't drive to work, but he was always dogging me and what I was doing in my business. Like go get a real job. But then when I started making almost as much as him, he was like, all right, let's see what this course has to offer. Lo and behold, he created awesome listings for fitness tracker watches, jojoba oil, uh, essential oil diffusers, and started like doing 20 something sales a day, 25, 26 sales a day. And he was super stoked on it. And he still sells those products today. For me, it took three months before I, for, to watch a course, to find a product and to ship it in. So it can happen as soon as, you know, a couple months on up to seven months. It just depends on how much time you have. But do you have any like little cool screenshots or anything of, of some of your sales to show people like what it looks like when you start making sales on your phone? Oh yeah. Which is fucking cool because <laughs> it gets addicting hundred percent. This is today. It's not bad for sales. Uh, let's see. Yep. 1892 revenue. Uh -huh. Um, so not okay. bad. I actually had to turn, I actually had to up my price because I was selling too many and I was going to go through my stock. So I just ordered my 
uh, next batch of 500 units because I am going to sell a lot faster than I expected. <laughs> well, that's a good problem to have. Uh, and then here's the thing, like once you start really getting that product up, how many reviews do you have on it so far right now? Uh, I have four. Okay. Yeah. Keep getting the reviews on it. You can use Helium 10 to do your email follow-ups. You can go into Amazon manually and for every customer, click into their order number. So you go over to the little button that'll show you like inventory payments, all those buttons, go click on orders, click on the order. And then it says request review. So you can manually have Amazon uh, send a review email out to them and you can get reviews that way. Nurture those five-star reviews. If you have a bad one come in, you can go to the orders button again and click on the customer's name and actually send them a quick email like, hey, we're sorry you had a bad experience with the product. What, what was the issue? We can send you a new one. Any way to make up this experience, we saw you left a bad review. Like we want to change that experience for you. Now, as far as product research, how did you go about finding your product? I really just kind of followed all the tips and tricks that you had in your course. Um, just obviously use Helium 10. Um, mm -hmm. That was like my buddy for probably a few weeks to a month or so, I'd say. Kind of just compile the list of, you know, I think like 10 of them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, kind of wrote like, what makes this good? like what improvements I could make to this product. Uh, and then kind of just like a very rough, like what would my profit be for selling this product? Mm -hmm. uh, so, and then I kind of just kind of like dwindled it down from there. And then I think I actually went over it with you on a call and you were like, oh, I was actually thinking about doing that product. I was like, <laughs> all right, now I'm going to do it for sure. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I find a lot of different interesting products. I think we did a couple calls. I was like in Thailand or something. And back in the US now, I love your backdrop. Reminds me of good old Washington State. But uh, yeah, so I wanted to also see what were your initial impressions on how much money you thought it was going to take to get started versus like the reality of how much money it took to get started? There's a lot of people that were like, oh, you need like ten thousand dollars to get started and some people were saying you oh you only need like thousand bucks to get started and it's really kind of somewhere in between and it's what up to the product is. it's really up to the product because you could find a buy it from your supplier for 10 bucks sell it for 40 or you could buy a 40 dollar product from your supplier and sell it for 120 so it just really depends on what product you want to get into. I don't recommend selling things less than 20 bucks. Otherwise, your profit margin is going to be only like 6 or $7 after Amazon fees and your product cost. So when you're selling something around the $30, $40 price, it's good. What does your product sell for? And uh, if you don't mind, like how much was it like you got the course, you got everything? I mean... I started for $1,000. I bought a $500 course and my first order of 100 units of a $5 product was 500 bucks. And then the Amazon account fee is $40. Actually, the product research tool I used for like a month before canceling it was 40 bucks at the time. So it can be in the in the ballpark of, you know, a couple thousand to 4,000 is a healthy amount, I think, four grand. Yeah, I think I spent around three grand. Um, and that's including buying a new macbook um <laughs> oh, <shit>. so <laughs> i literally was i'm fucking doing this so i went out and i like bought like a macbook air and i bought your course and um you know the couple little things like helium 10 obviously my seller account mm -hmm. um, and my first product order which was 1400 yeah and were there any, what were some of like the roadblocks that you ran into? It happens all the time. Like I've kind of realized that like you really just have to be diligent. Um, mostly just like when you're first getting your product going, cause you're like, holy shit, like how do I navigate this? This looks really comp complicated, but yeah, like I had to get some like compliance forms. They like didn't get some of my inventory all the way in. So I'm still missing like 10 units. I don't know when the hell they're going to show up. Mm -hmm. but one so thing like about that is you can actually go to your shipment and then there's a button that says Re reconcile or something. You can press that and then show Amazon the invoice of I bought 200 units or however many units you bought and 
Amazon will say, we only received 190, 10 missing units. And if they were lost in the warehouse or whatever, which can sometimes happen, and you press the reconcile button, they'll actually reimburse you for the selling price of what your product's selling for. And you can actually get money back. A lot of little things that you learn as you become an Amazon seller, you're more seasoned, you learn things, but do you see yourself being able to like, now that you have this skill, launch more products, start really scaling a brand? Are you looking to build a brand or just one-off products for now to make some side hustle money? Or do you want to build a brand and like have an exit strategy, like sell uh, a whole brand with five or six products on it? You know, that that's how you can do a pretty big payday. Like your annual revenue, you can multiply it by three. And that's like the price that you can sell your brand for on websites like Flippa or Empire Flippers. You're building a skill here that is not going to go away anytime soon. And then you can actually replicate it, build a brand, sell the brand. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty much endless. But how do you feel about now you've done it, you're selling for a few weeks? What are your plans? Honestly, my plan right now is to keep scaling this product right now. If I sell this next batch um, within even a couple months, that's still a good, probably healthy two to $5,000 profit for like each month. So I think it would be like a total $5,000 profit for the whole batch. Um, but yeah, I want to eventually scale that that to $5,000 a month within the next year by like maybe next summer. Uh, launch another product when I feel like this one is uh, successful enough. Yeah. And you'll see, you know, you don't have to wait around for it to be fully successful forever. Sometimes these things just start going and you can always keep your eye out for other products. You know, I just bought one last night and it's like, I had a product that was version one basically, and it's still selling now. And then there was another version that came out and I was just like, I'm just going to buy 200 units of this and ship it in. And it was like four grand, but I know that the market for this thing is just going to sell well. And it's, I've ran the numbers. And that's what I love about Amazon is you can see how much you're going to get it for, what the Amazon fees are, what everyone's selling it for. So that like worst case scenario, I can cut my price in half and still make a couple bucks profit. So there's really not a lot of ways to lose when you look at the data and see like shit. I can literally undercut the whole market by over 50% off and still break even. So there's not a really big chance of me losing here. So yeah, I would say maybe don't even wait all the way till next year to launch another product. Get this one going. I, I would recommend using Cerebro with Helium 10. Just put your ASIN in Cerebro and then it will show you how many keywords you're showing up for and what rank on whatever page you're showing up for. So like you're on page one, position one for this keyword. And then you can see all the keywords you're showing up for. Um, and then go back like a few weeks later, run it again. You can look at your previous search history on that and it will show you, you're showing up for 500 keywords and then you run a new search and then it says, oh, now you're showing up for a thousand. So you can see as you sell more, Amazon starts showing you for more keywords, which results in more sales. And it just kind of takes care of itself as long as you have your email follow-up, a good product in there, you know, maybe enhance it with some of your other orders with uh, maybe different packaging or product insert card. Let this guy run. If it's got 15, 20, 30 reviews and it's still selling fine, just now you're at the point where you can call your supplier and just be like, hey, I need another batch. And then you don't even really have to focus on it that much and just build new income streams, build more products. And uh, the more you build, as long as you're making sure worst case scenario, you can cut your price in half and still be breaking even or whatever. You don't have a lot of ways to lose with that and you'll be gaining faster experience. So it's my little two cents on that. But yeah. uh, anything else you want to kind of leave the audience with who's still on the fence with all this stuff. Shit, it's funny. Um, honestly, this tell people that it's pretty fucking exciting, man. <laughs> to be able to just like check and like, oh, another sale, another sale, another sale. 
of the sale. And then you get like, if you tell people about it, like your friends, like, oh, I've been doing this. Like people don't really like at first they're like, oh, like that's cool. And then they see you're like starting to make money. They're like, oh, dude, you need to show me how to do that. Like literally all my, like a lot of my friends are like, yeah, man, I need to get on that. Will you be my mentor? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's how it all happens. That's how it was with, within my family, with a lot of my friends, even at the skate park, one of the homies was like, yeah, when I first uh, saw you doing that, I was like, oh, that's cute. Like, that's just going to be a phase for him or something. He's going to burn out of it. But I've been going strong for over six years now. So, and a lot of it has a lot. I mean, I was able to quit my job within nine months of starting this. And then boom, never had to take an alarm clock, never had to hear one again. Took it in my backyard and freaking blew it up with a shotgun. No, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. But uh <laughs> <laughs> I should have. I actually never really used alarm clocks for the most part anyway. I just hated having a boss tell me what to do when I was working in a job. So it's it's not for everyone that wants to just leave a job, but you can still make a lot of money on Amazon, still have a job. Uh, it doesn't take up your whole life to build this thing on the side. Um, are you looking to maybe replace your job and like quit at some point or what? Is exactly why I bought your course. <laughs> I can quit my job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So just get a few more products. If you can get five products making you a hundred profit a day, 500 a day, 15 grand a month, and you're making 180 K a year. And you're a freaking doctor at that point. Yeah. And you're going to uh, Thailand and Bali and. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Uh, that's why I wanted to do that and like showcase it, keep inspiring people because I know they can do it. And it's just, it's just, you know, you got to think to yourself, if I'm doing what I'm doing now, am I going to get to where I want to be? Like if you work in a nine to five forever, it's not scalable. You're just going to have to live a couple lifetimes to get your dream house or whatever. You got to get into something scalable. And that's what oh. I was doing. Uh, yeah, nine, nine to five is never going to make you rich. No. <laughs> so that's going to do it for this one, everybody. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Angelo, for jumping on the call, sharing your experience. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.